Next, we want to create a controller to actually add a product. So we'll say export const. We want to add a product singular here. Use our async function again, pass our request and our response. And here we want to create a variable called new product. Make that equal to a new product here. We want to use the request.body. Now we want to use a try catch again. Create a variable called product. Make that equal to await followed by our new product variable. And we simply want to save this to our database. And then we want to respond as a JSON with our product. Now we can specify our catch and this time we'll actually pass in an error to it and we'll simply respond with the error. Tap here for more.